Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Dan or 19 year old bring you guys another a uh, let's play walkthrough series. Like I said before in, my, in one of my previous videos, I wanted to do some more storyline campaign videos after all. I'm doing a couple of them on my channel. I have Watch Dogs, Hitman, a couple of other videos that I've put up online for you guys so you guys can see. Um, and a Red Dead Redemption is something I wanted to try out of my channel. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please smack the like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Which gets me with the video. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, you guys. Ho um, let's get straight into the action. I won't take too much of your time for the story. Let's go. Apparently, we have a couple of cutscenes here. So, um... Like I said, I'm not the strongest player in the world. I this is my first time actually playing the series. Um, however, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, I'm willing to um, what's it called? Pull it like all behind me, and you know, just try to learn from my ex from my mistakes. So I'm not the professional gamer. It's like, hey, I'll be making quite a bit of mistakes, but I'll try to do my best not to make um make many majority of them. But uh, let's, I want to check out this game, just in my opinion, see how what it looks like and how I um, and we'll see what the series is like. I think we're dropping in the story in a second, and uh, let's do this. It's sure taking its sweet time. I mean, uh, I should probably seen this coming though. By 1899, the age of, uh, I think it's Brutons and Gunslingers was at the time of whatever. I couldn't read that quickly. <laughs> America was becoming a land of laws. Even the uh, West had mostly been tamed. A few gangs still uh, roamed, but they were being hunted down f and destroyed. Interesting. Ooh, I'm actually really interested in know what's gonna happen now. Alright. There's a title, Red Dead Redemption 2. Looks like a real heavy Abigail storm. Says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh, if we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Oh. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on. Yeah. That is a real heavy storm, though. I mean, if I was stuck in that. That that like that, that cold weather. Oh man, it'll be all over for me. Chapter one: The Coulter or Colton.
Bring him in here! Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, turn this place to a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Careful over this bridge here. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Can't believe we lost Davy, too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days. We'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. And what about the money? Hey, I think I see something up the path. You up ahead! Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? 
Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. I'm just looking at the graphics. The graphics look really, really beautiful. Like the mountains, the snow, the view of like the, the like the small little city down there. They look pretty decent, to be honest. Let's hitch up here. Look at this. Look at the creation, though. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Follow Dutch. Like okay. The party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. Arthur, take cover in that shed over there. <laughs> what are you doing? Get inside the shed. What shed? Is it that the shed you're talking about? Arthur, get in position. Come on. Unless we're just talking about the shed in here. Um. What are you doing? I said get out of sight. Uh, I'm trying. Just give me a second. Some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. Oh. 
there's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need uh oh. Some, there's a body food in the back. What's up? Uh, I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. The headshot. I got you, mate. Can I shoot him? I think that's probably the best thing to do because he was way far out. Got it, boss. You just said to bring to Brit the horses. Come on, Arthur. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Huh. Looks like the poor bastard was married too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Uh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. There's a lot of stuff you can craft here. Ah. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Meet me out here when you're done. Salted beef. What about the stuff around here? Oop, get down. No, dude, get out. There you go.
Wow, there's some medicine right there. You just told me to grab the, the. Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know if... Get the hell out of here. Go! Spare mercy. He's already skittish. Get away from me! Michael, what the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, Driscoll, bitch! Why up there, ain't you? <laughs> Leave her alone! I wasn't doing yeah. nothing. She's one of them old Driscolls. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Yeah. Are you... <laughs> Oh, you fool! Michael! Yes. Now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss! Miss! Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. You okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. 
How are you not Come freezing? Of course. Yes. It's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. So, uh, it's okay. Uh, get on. Uh, we'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. I mean, with all due respect, she's wearing a dress, or a skirt, or like a nightgown, and she's in a, a snowstorm. Like, minus who knows. That is mad. Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back! How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Combe O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there. But there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. <laughs> I mean, it's part of life, right? <laughs> you have to share a room sometimes. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed and he looked for me thank you this way last I know John was headed up the river for all we know he kept riding north and never looked back he wouldn't leave not like that uh, wouldn't be the first time Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well... It seems somebody left. Recently. And... That way. Sure, well, come on then. 
There's some tracks leading to the river. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. We continue along the cliff wall here. Davey got shot. Mac and John both shot, too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. I'm just enjoying the graphics, really. The graphics are absolutely insane. Oh, man. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. can hear us. Come on. Up there. Adelante. This ain't good. I heard his voice too. That shotgun from your horse. Who knows the what's up ahead? Shotgun. Come on, dude, run. Oh, whoa, whoops. I didn't mean to punch the horse. <laughs> that was by accident, actually. Oh, well. Accidents happen. I'm just really digging the graphics, though. It's just really taking it in, just looking at the scenery here. Way. 
Okay. It's getting warmer and warmer by the minute. Careful here. Watch your head here. Okay. Good now. Watch your step. It's real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up here. Come on. Gap here. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. Come on, big boy. You got this. It's cold. He's in a cave. How you doing? I'm miserable. Been a tough few days. I know. Here. Take a drink of this. Thanks. I'm not designed for this snow. Let's keep moving then. Come on. Come on. Oh, so it's all up. Oh, this one's all about making sure that we, uh. Marston, you hear me? John! It's all about uh, maintaining your, um. Your, uh. Your stamina and stuff through. By drinking lots of water or drinks. Last shot! We're coming! Over here! Where are you, bro? He's down here. Down here! Alright! Hot down, Marston! That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing! Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Oh, you all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. What's wrong, Arthur? Uh, well, you guys, after this probably this couple of cutscenes, I'll, I'll end up uh, uh, stopping the video for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you enjoyed, please, please remember to smack the like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below with the video. If you want to see some more uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, let me know in the comment section down below. Or show me that if you want to uh, see some more, just smash that like button real good. And otherwise, you guys, we'll see you guys on the next video of Red Dead Redemption 2. Distract him while you get to the horses. Go! Draw them off. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. We're getting you out of here. Hey, what? Them off of us.
Okay, let's get going before any more of these bastards show up.